What's going on, Jerome's? So lost in the shuffle of the Kirkwood Jerome Ezekiel Cousins injury, the trading for Josh Dobbs, uh, is that it is officially Dalton Reisner season uh, along the Vikings offensive line at the left guard position as the Vikings uh, did trade Ezra Cleveland, uh, who ha had been replaced by Dalton Reisner as Ezra had uh, a foot injury, traded him to the Jacksonville Jaguars for a six-round pick. So now, come on up for the Reisner. Uh, it is absolute time, man. And Reisner... Uh, you know, throughout his couple months uh, with the Vikings, like he's proven that he is a great teammate, he's a great soundbite, and he's just an excited guy who's ready to play uh, some good football. Uh, and he understands the gravity of the situation. You know, he feels horrible about Kirk Cousins, and he understands the faith that this franchise put in him after trading Ezra Cleveland, who, yes, was in a contract year, and yes, uh, had a foot injury, but Ezra was playing some damn good football uh, before uh, his uh, foot injury. And Reisner so far in three starts in place of Cleveland, uh, 66 PFF pass blocking rate, seven pressures allowed, zero sacks. Now, he hasn't graded out favorably in run blocking, but a lot of that has to do with <sighs> – the, the run game as a whole has been very poopy. But, but overall, uh, Dalton Reisner has been solid. And the Vikings offensive line with Derrissaw and O'Neal, a bookend tackles, the best uh, tackle duo in the league, up there with Decker and Sewell, up there with Malata and Johnson. Uh, and the interior has really solidified since Garrett Bradbury has come back from that back injury. And also Ed Ingram, respect, has really risen up in year two. So left to right, uh, Derrissaw, Reisner, Bradbury, Ingram, and O'Neal, frankly, it's a really damn good offensive line, knocking on all the wood. Of course, uh, we're not used to this. Like, like we're not, and especially uh, with Jaron Hall taking over for Kirk Cousins, uh, uh, young young rookie is going to need uh, some good protection uh, in that spot. And also getting Chris Reed back from MFI and FI, where he's uh, his practice window has opened. One of the reasons why uh, the Vikings felt that uh, Ezra Cleveland was expendable. So uh, it's a great opportunity now for Dalton Reisner. Uh, I think that he. Uh, he four-year starter for the Broncos, uh, very solid. Uh, it was kind of weird how he was still a free agent uh, into the regular season, but the Vikings got him, and he was able to marinate for a couple weeks before Ezra got hurt, took over for three starts, uh, traded Ezra at the trade deadline, and everything is kismet. And things are lighting up now that the Dalton Reisner, still relatively young at 28, I mean, he could be the Vikings' left guard of the future. He's currently operating on a one-year, uh, three million dollar deal, well, up to worth up to three million bucks, and uh, I think that he has a chance to get paid. Where his market value uh, via spot rack is estimated at nine and a half million per year. Now, yes, the Vikings certainly do have a lot of mouths to feed with Jefferson and Daniil and Darisaw and maybe Kirk. We'll see. Uh, but I mean. Having some solidification along the offensive line is something that the Vikings haven't had in a long time. Uh, and frankly, everything starts and ends up in the trenches. That's why i got to rebuild that defensive line. But up front, they're solid. They're, they're solid, man. Because the Vikings, you know, the, the whole narrative is that, like, oh, Spielman and Quasi ignored the offensive line. Darisaw, first-round pick. Bradbury, first-round pick. Ed and O'Neal and also uh, Ezra were second-round picks. Dalton Reisner, uh, free agent picked up in season. So, no. I mean, the Vikings have sunk uh, resources into it, and now things look like they're starting to pan out. So now, Dalton Reiser, I know he's ready for the challenge, man. We got to get this offensive line going in the run game. We got to get a run game for going for Jaron Hall, and if we can protect Jaron Hall's ass and he can deliver the ball downfield to Hawkinson and JJ and KJ and uh, Addison, could be special, man. Could be special. Also, uh, Reisner seems like a super good dude, super good teammate, and. Uh, yeah, you know, sideline blow up uh, on Brett Rippon last year, notwithstanding, which is a, a nonsense, nothing burger. But uh, he has a chance to stay here uh, in purple for a long time. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Come on up for the rise now. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, the work put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.